you have a motion? I do have a motion that we go into executive session to discuss releasing the minutes of the June 15th and 16th executive session sessions to the public and to return to public session. Second. We have a motion and a second to go into executive session to approve and release the minutes of the June 15th and June 16th executive sessions. All in favor of, actually that's a roll call vote, Madam Clerk. Point, point of information. Subcommittee. Yes, sir. I, I don't quite understand um, June 15 and 16, and if they're personnel matters, I don't know that we could ever suggest they're being released. Let me ask. Uh, get a clarification on that. Certainly. The council only met on one of those two days, too, so I'm a little confused. We'll, by that. we'll find that out. Good evening. Nice to see everybody. Uh, I still think the rules of um, generally for the release of executive session minutes apply when you are an, um, an employee um, employed by a multiple member board, the protections that you have as an individual that um, is only has one employer don't pertain. For exa example, evaluations are normally for me are not public records, but because of the open meeting law, the connection between the open meeting law and the public records law. Um, the AG's office has ruled that those evaluations are public. This is a long-winded way of saying, I believe once the purpose for that executive se session no longer exists, they can be released. Does that satisfy your question? Uh, not exactly. There were two different dates, which the council hasn't Certainly. met on both dates. And secondly, uh, if we, I guess we need to discuss. For clarification, June 15th was the subcommittee and June 16th was the council. Yeah, for a point of clarification for me too, the 15th minutes are only the prior to going into the executive session. It doesn't get into any of the nitty gritty of what happened at all. It doesn't have executive session minutes there. I don't know if this is responsive, but I'll try to be responsive. The subcommittee of the council that was appointed by your president would control the release of that, those minutes, would need to release them because it's their minutes, not the body's minutes. So that, but the subcommittee's here if they wanted, it, it was on the agenda. So if the subcommittee wanted to meet to review and release those. Okay, um, my, my point is, uh, uh, Ruth, is that we don't have those minutes. We, we have just that we went into executive session and came out. That was, that's all. Are they available? I believe the clerk has those minutes. Not of the 15th. Oh, no, okay, the so they're not available. Can I ask who took those minutes? Certainly. L so Laura Scroggins of the uh, Human Resources. So they were taken by personnel office, okay. Um, may I clarify? Yes. Uh, those minutes were turned in to me in a sealed envelope and were uh, put into my vault. I have no control over them other than to say that they are there. They need to be reviewed, though. Well, I would suggest, in, and is it my understanding that the committee is the only one who can vote to release those minutes? Correct. Then I would stick with my motion, let the committee go in and, and vote however they may to decide whether or not they want to let us know what happened in that meeting. And if they don't, well, that's their right. And uh, But my continued motion for the 16th, um, I, would, I would move that. Point of information, Mr. President? Yes, sir. The committee made a report last meeting, so uh, I, I respectfully disagree with the issue that the committee is not letting known what happened. The committee made a full report. Thank you. Thank Councilor you. Barry has made a motion for the subcommittee to release the executive session minutes of June the 15th. Those minutes are available to the town clerk. They could be reviewed by the subcommittee right now and voted on to be whether or not they want to release them. That's his motion. Does, point of information, does a non-member of a committee get to make a motion that another committee puts its minutes out? I'm confused. I'll right. answer that. I'll make the motion to, I was a member of the committee, just to, for, for Can we Mr. bifurcate Clark. it then, please? I move to release the minutes of the subcommittee. How about to review and review? To review and, re re and release the minutes of the Jan June 15th, 2011 subcommittee meeting. I second it. So you would do go that back to public thereafter. Right. So you would do that in executive session to return to public session thereafter. So 
I think that's up to you guys to vote. Okay, move the question. All right, who's in favor? There's only, uh, first, thank Jim, you, Mr. Rugo, but I was <laughs> appreciate it. Um, uh, I recline. There's only four of us. Hearing no further discussion, I would uh, uh, look for a roll call vote on uh, people interested in going in to discuss and uh, possibly review the uh, committee's work of uh, June 15th. Roll call vote, please, Madam um, Clerk. Could you call a roll call, please, of the four of us? Raise your hand, please, so that she knows who the four are. Councillor Dagwan. Yes. Councillor Rugo. Yes. Councillor Crocker. Yes. And Councillor Farnham. Yes. Okay, the four of you have voted yes. Okay, prior to that point of information, could we 